Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we've come to the final quest in Act 7.3. And I'm going to show you the path that I consider to be the easiest path. And in this case, I think it's going to be the easiest path for a lot of you. Uh, but always check around, look at the other paths, and see which one suits you um, the best. All right, but the path that I'm going to take is the uh, one with the poison vulnerability. Okay, this one right here, acid wash, right back at it, poison vulnerability, toxican, toxicant. Um, normally, when you see acid wash, you, you, you get a little worried. Okay, and the uh, right back at it, you can play around. Basically, what you want to do on this path is just fight and not knock them down, okay? So the acid wash is not an issue because of the toxican, toxican. You know, you're going to be able to apply a poison. So I brought in Diablo. El Diablo! I brought him in because he benefits from poison. So you can bring in your poison champs and that sort of thing, but you see that I have a mix. You know, I've got um, uh, Nick Fury, I've got uh, Hercules. So you can really do this path with pretty much anyone. And that's why I consider this path to be the easiest for your initial completion. Now, you're gonna watch me go through all these different fights. Um, I make a few mistakes. I was learning how to do this different style, you know, because of course with Diablo, what I would normally do is just parry heavy, but you can't do that because of the right back at it node. If you knock them down, as you saw there, same thing with specials, they get all the debuffs off of them and you have to start all over again. So basically just fight. Don't bring in somebody that relies on specials uh, you can bring in somebody that poisons them, but you don't have to. It'll make things uh, faster and easier. Uh, but other than that, don't knock them down and just fight and apply the poisons. And that's pretty much it. Uh, so I'm going to get out of your way and I'll be back for the boss fight. The boss fight uh, I found pretty fun. Pretty fun. Um, I like the Gwen Master fight as well. Uh, this one was pretty cool, uh, but I'll be back and I'll talk to you more about uh, that fight when we get there. All right, so enjoy. Let's 
Okay, so we're here at the boss fight. I'm going to give you a basic, quick strategy summary of this fight. Follow the prompts. That's it. Follow the prompts. Now, that may seem pretty straightforward, right? But it's not so simple and easy. Now, uh, I'm going to show you uh, a little bit of what I mean. And of course, this is my first time going through this. So, you know, I make uh, uh, several mistakes. And let me tell you, one of the things that, that causes me a lot of issues is having to take my eyes off of the opponent to look up and see anything. Uh, at least the first time. Once I get used to it, you know, it'll just take a foot and I'm done, right? But the first time I had to do this, same thing with the um, Grandmaster fight and all of that. Um, it took me a little bit to get used to it. Now, I'm showing you all this, but none of that really matters. Uh, that easy path, you don't have to worry about any of this. So uh, we're going to start the fight here. And I'll show you the prompts. Look under, on the right-hand side, under his health bar. Okay? Now, you see that it says zero. That means you need to be below a bar of power when that timer runs out. All right? So, you see I just was dashing, not even hitting him. So, I got that one. Now, there's a three. Before that three runs out, you need to fire off a special. A, a, a special three, all right? Now, just look at this. The timer's running out, okay? Almost got it. I almost got it, but I just missed it. So the other thing about this fight is when you evade his special, you get power. So you can evade all three of his, uh, like, see that? He has three... Uh, parts in his uh, special one if you evade all three you're gonna get a lot of power if you block one of them you get drained so that's how you can do a little power management so that's pretty much what this fight is okay you need to fire off the special that is indicated in the um you see the countdown right there and you can manage your power by evading and blocking his uh special attack and this will get each mission done, okay? So I believe in this first phase, uh, you have to get three. And you can see I keep failing, all right? But that's pretty much what you have to do. It's not so easy, but it's simple, okay? Not so easy. So you see up here, I have to fire off a special one, so I need to fire my special three then build up to a special one quickly before that timer and then get it. Now, the other thing uh, that you need to remember is that you can pause that timer by firing off a heavy attack, okay? Now, you saw there, I messed up again. Um, but see, like right here, it's a zero, so that's the easy one, okay? I just need to make sure that my power is below one bar. And since he dashed back, I wanted to make sure. And now time collapse. If you did Grandmaster, it's the same thing as the wounded. All right. And that's pretty much what you have to do. Now, it takes a little bit of practice, let me tell you. And it doesn't help that I was getting a few blocked, uh, dropped inputs. But that's pretty much what you have to do for all the phases. You know, you basically... Follow the prompt until you get him to the time collapse, and then you whoop on him to try and push him to the next phase. And that's it. So very simple, but not so easy when you're trying to keep track of everything. You know, and especially one thing that was getting me really upset is that I would have my plan out, and when I tried to evade, and it didn't, and I took the block, it messed me all up because that would drain my power. Now I couldn't do what I was trying to do. So um, it, it was a little annoying. It was a little annoying, but that's pretty much uh, what you have to do. 
okay? And those zeros are nice and easy because you just need to stay below. You know, if he didn't fire a special, great. Um, if he fires a special and it says zero, just block them all and you'll be fine. Okay, so here I got to get a, a special two. And see, I'm trying to evade. I know exactly what I need to do right there. I needed to do a two, right? So I needed to evade, evade, and if I had enough, block the last one, fire that special off. But I couldn't seem to evade properly and it kept blocking instead. So it was a little frustrating. The fight is is pretty, you know, pretty nice, pretty easy. Not that bad, but that was driving me nuts. Okay, uh, so again, we've got one. So see, I block it. All right, now I gotta, you know, build back up to a special. But he didn't fire it off enough. And so once again, I failed it. So sometimes he didn't do it right. Sometimes I just messed up. And sometimes I was trying to evade and it just wouldn't do it. And, you know, it would just get me all out of sorts. So there was a lot of uh, practice and, and all that good stuff. You can really do this with anyone. Once you get this fight down, once you learn what you need to do, like you just look up there and you already know what you need to do. You don't even need to look up there anymore. Okay, and you can see what the next one's going to be right next to it. I don't know if you noticed that, but you can see what the next one is going to be. So that'll give you a little bit of a, you know, heads up. You can see here, I got the time collapse and Hercules can solo this fight once you get used to the fight. But you can see I'm just, you know, bumbling my way through. You know, this is my first time uh, going through it. Okay, so we've got one up there, so I know I need to either bait out or, you know, block a lot of specials or fire that off. Okay, and then again, I need to get one. So see, I'm blocking, but this is it's driving me nuts. It is it's really driving me nuts. And you see, I just went ahead and fired it off because I was first trying to get him to, to fire it. And I just needed to block. That's it. Like that. Right, but now we just need to fire off a special two because I got out of sync. And the last time I had looked, it was a one. So yeah, I just got all confused, discombobulated right there. Once once I got off, it just all collapsed. And I'm, I'm like, okay, I got it. Wait, no, he's on to the next one. Oh man, okay. So just got to get used to the fight. And and that's pretty much the fight. That's what you have to do. I loved when it started at zero because that was almost like a free one, you know? But I'm going to get out of your way and you can watch the rest of the fight. We got it down, but I included all of my mistakes and everything so that you could uh, enjoy and not feel too bad when you have to go and do this for the first time as well. All right. So I'll be back after the fight is over.
All right, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. There was some weird stuff happening towards the end uh, with uh, Nick Fury. I thought I won. I was like, oh, this is easy. Bring in Nick Fury, <clears throat> let him hit Nick Fury all the way up, and then fire the special three. But when I did, he didn't die. I didn't understand what was going on. So I brought in Diablo, and we were able to finish that uh, last part off. I'll, I'll be able to do better uh, the next time next time around now that i am uh, a little bit more familiar with the fight as long as i actually have my inputs working properly all right so that's going to do it guys thank you all for watching feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it leave a comment i hope that this uh helps you out when you do your initial clear uh i did not get the offer for the end of uh completing 7.3 but i may get the offer for 7.4. Uh, I may do that because uh, that has some uh, rank four materials that I like. Uh, all right. Take care. And you all have a blessed day.